In this video, we will take a look at the trailing edge vortices of the wing. To do this, we're going to first create a plane at the trailing edge. Go to Location, Plane, and I'm going to call this Trailing Edge Plane. Hit OK. I'm going to change the method to a point and normal. The point, point 0.7, zero, 0, and the normal is 1, 0, and 0.2723. The type is going to be rectangular. We're going to change the x size to be 3 feet the Y size to be one foot. The plane type we're going to change to be sample. We're just going to leave that as is. Hit apply and if we go to the X axis you can see our plane right there. When we're looking at the trailing edge vortices we don't actually want to see our plane so unselect this. Now we're going to plot the velocity at the trailing edge. Go to the vectors and call this trailing edge velocity vectors. Hit OK. So the location is going to be the plane that we just created trailing edge plane. And we're going to change the sampling from vertex to equally spaced. The number of points, 1000. And leave the variable as velocity. The symbol, we're going to change the symbol size to 0.5. Hit apply. And let's zoom in. It's easier to see these vectors if we change the background color. So right click on the background and go to viewer options. In the background, we're just going to change this color type to solid and change the color to a simple white background. Hit apply. And now, we can see our velocity vectors at the trailing edge. And we can look along the wing, and we can see how there is a trailing edge vortex here.